So I'm going to discuss a couple of individuals that I knew when I was in medical hold unit at Fort Sam Houston, also known now as the Warrior Transition Unit at Joint Base Lewis McCord, or Joint Base San Antonio. I apologize. Um, so there was a, I'm going to start off with, there were these two females. One was named Cyber and one was named Kaliva. I don't know what their first names were. Um, I was told I needed to, like, be their friend. And it was one of those, they had arrived from South Korea, each one of them. Cyber was, well, I'm in heels, but not that they're that tall, but she's about here. And then Kaliva was about here, and they're both broader shoulder females. And, uh, Cyber was, um, like a natural-ish dirty blonde. And then Kaliva was a natural brunette. And both of them had brownish hazel color eyes. Kaliva's eyes were a darker brown. Seibert's eyes were uh, a little bit hazily brown. We ain't get along. Like, the, no matter how much Captain Morning, Captain, no matter how much he tried to convince me that I needed to have female friends. And I was like, you know, um, my biological mother tried that. That didn't go out, go, go so well. Like, at all. And I already don't get along with McCoy. And that's a female specialist. She was a little bit shorter than, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Kaliva. Or Cyber. She's a little bit shorter than Cyber. And a brute, a uh, redhead, like a ginger. And, like, I, I tolerate them. I want to ish get along, but, eh. Like, they're just not the type of females I can get along with. And, you know, Captain Morning was like, oh, well, you know, you could. No. I cannot. Why not? They're not the type of females I can get along with. Well, what's wrong with them? A lot. <laughs> a, a lot, a lot. And Captain Morning was just like, you know, hum, like, how could you say that? So easily. The words just came out of my mouth. Well, Cybert and Kaliva wound up being my babysitter for the brigade commander's um, retirement party. And that was the only way I was allowed to go off post, to go to the mall, to pick up stuff, to wear for the retirement party. They refused to let me go to JCPenney. And the only stores that I was allowed to go shopping in were Rainbow, Deb, and Forever 21. And I was just like, it's a retirement party. And they were like, yeah. I go, for an officer. They were like, so what? And I was like, it's an officer. Like, I don't care that Captain Morning said that, you know, it's a barbecue theme. I don't care. Like, I no, I don't feel comfortable with any of the clothes at an officer's retirement party that I am seeing in any of these stores. Like, let me go to JCPenney and no, no. So they got to put my makeup on. They got to curl my hair. That didn't go so well. I was, uh, at the whole time that Kaliva was curling my hair, I was thinking, oh, what I could do with that curling iron to you. <laughs> what I would like to do with that curling iron to you. Personal opinion, I just, I just didn't trust them. I didn't trust them at all. It's not like I didn't know how to curl my own hair. But they were both like, oh, we got our own little doll. And I'm like, I am not yours and I am not your doll. Do not make that mistake. Do not make that mistake. And by that time, we had already not gotten along because I had explained what they were in South Korea. And they didn't like that. They didn't like that at all. 
even though they did exactly as I had described, which I, I told them that they were queens for a year. And I said, I'd rather be a, I'd rather be a queen or an empress for a life, like a full life, I, I, for eternity. I don't want to be somebody's queen for a year. I don't want to be somebody's queen or whatever for just a little bit of time. I want it permanently. If I'm going to get that title, I don't want it to be, like, I mean, yeah, that's technically given to you, but, I, like, it's going to be mine permanently. I don't want to be just, no, that's, no. That's not acceptable to me. They got offended by that, and then they asked me what queen for a year meant, and I was like, well, you know, it's ten males to one female, so they're trying to get, like, <laughs> the, the, the female to be with, and, you know, whatever that might cost, and it's not that expensive, you know, but it is, and, you know, you don't usually have a chance to get married if you're one of those, ever, you know, especially if somebody finds out what a queen for a year is, and, you know, if you ever, you know, I just, I went on in these different ways, and it's one of those, there are females that are perfectly accepting of that, and that's fine to each their own, that works. I am not one of those. When I was going to be stationed in South Korea, my plan was to be able to go travel to China, so that way I could, like, see where my great-grandfather and great-grandmother lived and, and go throughout those areas not to be somebody's queen for a year. Nope. Permanently. Like, that's it. It's a thing for me. I'm, well, then they described exactly what a queen for a year is. <laughs> that they did that. And I said, because, and one of the other points I brought up was, usually if somebody actually gets engaged while they're over in Korea, um, the, uh, if, if, the, if the male leaves, that, that marriage doesn't work. <laughs> like, it doesn't ever go through. And this was with Kaliva before Cyber went over at a medical hold unit. And Kaliva goes, well, what do you mean? I said, well... It's kind of like people who are in a relationship before going to basic training. It doesn't work out. It doesn't. It doesn't. Very rarely, very rarely does that ever work out um, where the relationship goes forward all the way and, and, and stuff like that. Um, but usually uh, either the queen for a year loses it and, and you know there's that chapter 13 thing. Or, um, she gets knocked up and truthfully has no idea who the baby daddy is, and then gets sent back to the States. Both of them were in medical hold unit. Neither one of them answered that particular portion when I asked them which category they fell under. Anyway... Um, Seibert supposedly was engaged and her fiancé was being stationed at Fort Sam Houston. Irony. And so, <laughs> I know that Seibert was a part of the 4-H club before she went into the army. And she said that her, she was proficient in saying suey. I was like, okay. I don't know what that means. And then I was talked down to because, oh, well, you know, if you weren't a Yankee, then you would understand that. Oh, okay. Well, can you tell me what it is? No. Okay, fine. And then she was like, it's an inside joke between uh, Kaliva and I. And I was like, okay, I'm sure it is. On that point, you have fun with your little inside joke. Keep it to yourselves, and, and I don't care. And then the two of them, well, Captain Morning said you have to be our friend. No, Captain Morning said that I had to try. And I'm really tired of trying. <laughs> you didn't give us a chance. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I really, I gave you more of a chance than I did 
some of the females when I was in Illinois. I'm just saying that this has been like weeks. In Illinois, I decided which ones of the cheerleaders on the cheerleading squad that I approved of and which ones I didn't like before school started. Just saying. <laughs> I've given you quite a bit of time in comparison. And no, but Captain Morning. Oh, go be go be friends with them. I don't want to. <laughs> and then the irony of the dichotomy that I couldn't have friends who were permanent party <laughs> because I haven't graduated basic training. I couldn't have friends that were which because I didn't graduate basic training, that made me a student, but I couldn't have friends that were students because technically I was permanent party in medical hold. And, and I was one of those, well, kept in morning. <laughs> kept in morning. <laughs> Which way? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> at all. Anyway, they, they had done their thing. I had some medical issues where I wound up in the hospital. They wound up um, telling all of the guys in medical hold that um, because of the medical issue that I had peed in my bed. I was like, oh, well, excuse me for having a medical condition. You know, I did have a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. My bad. <laughs> well, now I say that. Back then it was just I had a head injury and the medical aspects. And so, you know, they, th those two females made fun of me. To all of the males, McCoy got in with Kaliva and Cyber, making fun of me. To all of the males and the males, you know, I don't know what their responses were, but, you know, I was very much informed that they made fun of me while I was in the hospital. I was like, well, good for you. And you wonder why I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> I think you made that abundantly clear. I think so. I think so. Well, they had become friends with um, Carrollton, or Carlton, Carlton. And then they were like, well, don't you think Carlton is cute? And I was like, I mean, he's okay looking. I mean, but as a human being, no thanks. <laughs> like, <laughs> no thanks at all whatsoever. Just... Thanks, but no thanks. I'm more attracted to someone who has an allergic reaction to me being a female than I am Carlton. And, and, and I'm only attracted to his personality. I'm, I'm, I'm not attracted to like him physically because I understand that he has an allergic reaction to the fact that I'm a female. <laughs> and and they, they didn't understand that. They were like, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, Hernandez. Like, he's, he's good looking, he's cute, he's sweet, you know, and, and personality-wise, we get along perfectly fine, but he has an allergic reaction to the fact that I'm a female. And they were like, what does that mean? I don't know what the words are. I just know that he has an allergic reaction to the fact that I'm a female. That's the words I got. And they were like, oh, you mean he's gay. Is that what the term is? <laughs> if that's what the term is, then yes, he is gay. As gay as gay could be. He is very much allergic to the fact that I am a female. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. We can talk. But he is an allergic reaction to the fact that I'm a female. I have a particular vicinity that he's just like, no. <laughs> you keep that away from me. And they were just like, What? It's like, no, the, like, yeah, or, or, or have you tried to hit on Hernandez? And, and Kaliva was like, yeah. I was like, oh, he has a very big allergic, to, a very massively huge allergic reaction to you being a female. Yes, he does. He has an allergic reaction to me too, so don't feel bad. So, but yeah, no. Like, how do you not see that allergic reaction to you being a female? I don't know how you don't see that. Oh, like whatsoever. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And they were like, well, give us like why you think that. Well, he's talked with me about males who's he, who he is interested in dating. That's an example. 
I mean, he didn't have to do that at first for me to be like, well, hello, sweetheart. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> you are just mm, precious. <laughs> I know you look so pretty. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> I know you look pretty. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> but yeah, they, they would get into their little temper tantrums because no, Hernandez does not like males. Oh, but he does. <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes. Yes, he does. Oh, he very much does. Yes, he does. Yes. Oh, he does. Mm -hmm. I would guesstimate his roommate at some point in time will learn how much he really, truthfully likes males. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> By a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like hanging out with guys. I mean, and, and that I am being sexist in the males, but like in the, in the like personality types of, of guys as well as yeah, well, yeah, I, that, that's, that's a type of, <laughs> not female, but female, but not female, that I could actually hang out with. Mm-hmm, yeah. As long as we didn't like the same male. And then, that'd be about it. But whether, you know, the, the male in question would be, if was, you know, allergic reaction type, well, you have, I'm not, I'm not going to try, I know better, I'm not, just, but if not, and hey, but, you know, then, then that would require me saying something, and I'm not that type of, <laughs> I am, but I'm not, and it's in the, it's usually in the most weird way that, <laughs> the most awkward, <laughs> like, for example, Cutie Patootie Marine and Cutie Patootie Navy Seal. You know, that, that's not the most normal way. I'm fairly certain for a female, I don't know, I could be wrong, but that for me it feels awkward <laughs> to be like, oh, so cute. <laughs> Hot CIA guy. Just probably not the most normal way to do it, but it is what it is. So, or I don't, I don't know, I mean, then again, nowadays people have like little appy things and I don't know how that works. But from what I've seen from Facebook Messenger, um, I, I don't know, I guess I shouldn't feel so awkward. Um, <laughs> in comparison, uh, just saying. To each their own. That's not how I flirt, at least if that's flirting, I don't know. But anyway, so then there was Carlton, and um, there was a point when I had gone to CID, and um, it was for something completely unrelated to Carlton at the time, um, and it was actually ironically shortly after I had seen the little yellow flyers similarly to the little flyers for Palm Sunday, but for Special Forces. I was like, Watson! <laughs> I saw the little flyers, I was like, Watson! And he's like, what? What, Tom? And I'm like, I want to go as Special Forces! And then he looks at me, he's like, you haven't graduated basic training. That's beside the point. I could so be in Special Forces. And he's like, oh, aren't you cute? <laughs> Watson. I could so do the special forces thing. I so can. I can be special forces. And he's like, oh, you can be special. <laughs> Watson, <laughs> I can do it. I can do the special forces stuff. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, huh? Okay, sure. Just like I'm going to be a police officer. You are going to be a police officer, Watson. You are. You are. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, uh-huh. You're still not going to be special forces. I can so be special forces. I can so do it. And he's yeah, you could you could you could be you could be special. I don't like the way that you're saying that. <laughs> I don't like that. I can very much be special forces. I can. I can do it. Huh? You have to graduate basic training. I can still do special forces stuff. 
I can't. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, I can. I can so do special forces stuff, I still can. I can. Um, it's time for another counseling statement. Oh! <laughs> I can so do special forces stuff. Yes, okay, but it's time for a counseling statement. What did I do now? <laughs> what did I get in trouble for now? See why you can't do special forces stuff? You can't get counseling statements to be special forces. I'm sure there are special forces guys who have gotten counseling statements before. Yes, probably, but probably not as many as you. It's not fair. <laughs> and by that time, my PDU pocket pants, <laughs> the cargo part here, I couldn't close them. If I put another sheet of paper in either one of them, I could not close those pockets. And then the pockets here, the pockets here, yeah, and then these pockets, I barely was able to fit any more uh, counseling statement by that time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got me, Watson, you got me. <laughs> You are quite accurate. <laughs> Probably not this many counseling statements. Fine. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> so, but after finding that, I wound up going to CID. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's weird. But okay, what's going on, CID guys? I mean, not that, that was not how I entered, by the way. Yes. <laughs> and so, they had asked me a couple of questions. And I was like, well, you, I think you need to um, speak with um, Carlton. And then the female who was my roommate at the time, who was from Houston, uh, she had driven a um, green Honda Civic. I don't remember her name, but she was a ginger and she kind of looked like Cybert in some ways. And uh, she was being chapter 13 out. And she had wanted to do all sorts of stuff, and it's just one of those, yeah, no. And um, and she had gotten there after Captain Morning had left. Anyway, I was like, yeah, she, she wants to do this escort thing. I don't fully understand it. Like, it just doesn't, I don't, I don't know. And, and then, but Carlton, I think you need to watch, because he said something about cocaine, and I don't know what cocaine is. But I think that, I think that you need to ask him what cocaine is. And the CID guys that were <laughs> in, the de in the chairs across the desk, they <laughs> I think they had an idea what cocaine was by their reaction. <laughs> I just realized that now. Today is the 25th of April, 2020. That was back in 2000. So I, <laughs> I can laugh at myself <laughs> for not realizing that. They probably, maybe, either they knew what it was or they found out what it was. And so then, um, they had asked me well, why would they want to look into, which was kind of, I guess, maybe this is where it confused me, because they were like, well, why do you think that we should want to know what, um, and verbatim, by the way, why do you think we should, um, want to, <sighs> you had a head injury when? Palm Sunday. <laughs> oh my God. Um. Why, why do you think that we should want to know what cocaine is? <laughs> That's why I, I think that I was a little thrown off. I think that now that meant that they knew what cocaine was when I obviously did not. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and so <laughs> I had said, well, you know, <clears throat> um, well, you, you guys are males. And they were <laughs> the two of them looked at each other and then, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes we are. <laughs> and I was like, well, he said that he sprinkled some stuff there on what you guys have that I would have to go to a store to get. And that would assist him. 
and they were like, did you say you had to go to a store to get that? If I wanted to wear one, yeah. <laughs> they just looked at each other. They weren't laughing. I'm laughing. And they're all... Oh my god, okay, so go on. Um, sure, so, yeah, um, I'd have to go to a store of an adult nature. And I'd, I'd, I'd have to go into a certain aisle section that had, you know, an attachment that you guys have been born with. Do you understand what I mean? And they just kind of look at each other and they <laughs> like, <laughs> I, <clears throat> yes, I, I, I'm fairly certain we do. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, I'd, I'd have to go get one of those to sprinkle that there the way he was describing. Do you understand what that means? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I think we do. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> and then, um, get along with Slavert or Kaliva. No, I did not. And I had barely tolerated McCoy by that point, and she had admitted to stealing my checkbook just to test my head injury. I was like, well, you know. <laughs> um, I think that um, the doctors can do that at Fort Sam quite a bit better in a safer manner than you. I think that they have like these things called degrees that, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that all of them are, you know, well, I mean, it is called a medical practice, you know, not being rude, just, you know, you have to practice at things, and so, you know, but that's life, you kind of make a joke about that, because, you know, unless you get it perfect, you know, um, it's kind of a practice, and so, you know, I'm, I mean, you know, just throwing that out there, and McCoy, Cybert and Kaliva all got offended by that, and I'm like, I don't know why you're offended. Three of you, please. <laughs> Three of you, really? You're gonna look at me like I'm the dumb one? Oh, okay. Whatever. I mean, I am. I don't deny that, but... I don't know. Some of the choices you three have made... Just saying. I was going to throw that out there. And the irony is McCoy kind of looks like Meg from Joey and Meg. That particular relationship. Irony. Now that I look back, of course. So, yeah. They, they... That was what I had to say. Oh, and then there was, oh, then there was, um, what was it? There was a guy named Nesbitt, and him and Robert, my now dead ex-husband, they had their own issues. It was one of those, I don't know what your issues are, but, um, don't put me in the middle of that. Do not put me in the middle of that. I don't, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I don't have patience for that. At all. So. Yeah, I'm done now. <laughs> you guys have a good one.